Hi everyone, Logan here. Well, for anybody who's seen some of my other videos, they'd know that I own a Red Cat 51. And I actually did a video not so long about, uh, long ago about attaching the ZWO electronic focuser to the Red Cat so that I didn't have to manually focus it and I could let it all be controlled by uh, Nina. And I'll put a link above somewhere to that video if you want to have a look at it. Now, I got the Red Cat back in January 2020, um, and I happened, I was lucky enough to be in Japan at the time, and really was keen to visit any sort of telescope stores while I was over there, and I went into one, it was a fairly small one in Osaka, and they had a Red Cat 51 for sale. So I thought, I'll grab that, um, they're pretty hard to get hold of it at home, but I don't think you can get them here at all. I had to buy it from overseas anyway. So I brought it home and have been using it over the last couple of years. But uh, whilst I was you know, getting some good images with it, one thing I wasn't too happy about was that the stars in the corners were elongated. And in fact, in three corners, they were sort of elongated out towards the corner and in one, they were sort of, sort of across the corner, which was a bit odd. Now, I know a lot of these problems can be due to back focus, etc., but the uh, Red Cat 51, uh, because of its petzable design, it's not so critical with that focus. As long as you're around that 55 millimeters for something like the ASI 1600 or the 294 MC Pro, uh, you should be all right, should be able to focus with the focus ring. But it didn't matter what I did, um, I got the same results. And even when I set up the telescope with just a filter drawer and the 294 MC Pro, or with a filter wheel on the ASI 1600, the pattern uh, for the stars was the same. And of course, yes, I could crop the edges away, but the thing was I was losing that wide field because I had to crop the image so much to get away from these elongated stars. I'd seen a lot of reports, some people saying, oh, you get, you know, perfect stars at the corners, and other people saying, oh, I don't get, I get elongated stars, etc." And which is thinking maybe it was lack of the draw, but I was chatting with Ollie from Ollie's Astro, and he said, why don't you contact, um, William Optics and say, hey, what's the story? You know, this is what I've, what's happening. Um, is there any solution to this? So I sent them off an email, and uh, this was early, uh, about mid-November uh, 2021. And within, I think it was like four hours, I got a response, which was super quick, which was great. And uh, anyway, there were a few backwards and forwards discussions over the next few days, and I sent them sample images because I, I still had my, um, you know, FITS files, original FITS files from earlier in the year, and I was able to use the site image analyzer tool, I think that's what it's called, um, where you can do a three by three mosaic, and it'll show you how the stars are sort of zoomed in, and all the corners and in the center, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, they looked at those and said, um, yep, send it back to us for repair. So I, they actually um, organized for UPS to come and pick it up, which was great and uh, late January um, it came back uh, in, in this box and uh, now I did have to pay oh, $70 US, about $100 New Zealand for it to be returned. Um, now I thought well that's okay, you know it, I did buy this two years ago um, and I wasn't sure of the store that I bought it from etc etc so I thought it was Pretty good that they, you know, taken it back, fixed it, and it was only going to cost me um, that much. Uh, but I guess the proof will be in the pudding when I actually get it out and uh, take some images and see whether anything has been fixed. I'm, I'm fingers crossed it has been. Anyway, it arrived back nicely packaged up in here. Uh, you can see nice and secure, and uh, it's just pretty much the the bare telescope. Um, I've taken off the, the mounting ring and everything else, etc., just to make it as light as possible to send back. So um, I'm hoping to get a clear night at some stage. I don't know. We have not very good weather at the moment. And give it a test and compare it with the images I was getting last year and and uh, the year before. And um, yeah, fingers crossed. It's it's. I've got nice round stars from corner to corner. We'll, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I'll show you what I was getting uh, last year uh, before it went off and uh, you'll see what I mean by these uh, weird looking stars. 
Okay, so I've got PixInsight open and um, I'll show you a series of images of what's going on with the Red Cat before and after it uh, went for repair. Uh, now, so the first image I'm just going to show you is uh, this one here I took of, it's a single 10-minute um, sub of the Witchhead Nebula, which you can barely see in here at all actually. And it was taken with the 294 uh, MC Pro with the Red Cat and um, this was before it went away for repair. In the imaging train I just had a filter drawer and otherwise just the, the spacing to get me roughly around 55 millimeters. You don't have to be exact with the Red Cat because of the um, Petsville design but um, uh, I, from memory I was pretty close to the correct spacing anyway. To have a good look at what's going on with the stars, um, you can go up to, if you go to script and image analysis, there's an aberration inspector and an aberration spotter. With the aberration inspector you can choose the mosaic sides, uh, three by three is perfectly fine because it'll give you the corners and the central part and then the, cent the sides. Um, and uh, just cancel that, so I've got these up here and uh, if we have a look you can see that there is an issue with the stars. I've got little comets going out this way. These stars are eggs going in this direction and those in that direction. They're fairly round here and here. Uh, these seem to be heading vertically. These ones are going out and that towards that corner. These ones that way and this down here. Uh, at first I thought it was a spacing issue because, um, you know, you normally look at things where the stars are going out in the corners or sort of elongating around to show whether they're too close or too far away. But again, you know, with the red cat it shouldn't really matter. Um, and I know it was around the correct backspacing um, anyway. Plus, I had stars going out in the corners here and here but uh, and there, but this one was going sort of this way, it wasn't heading out in that direction, so there was something uh, not quite right. Uh, now, I also took an image um, at a separate occasion of Matariki or M45 or the Pleiades, and um, this was with the ASI 1600mm Pro. Now I know the 294 and the 1600 are not um, ideal to work with this red cat due to sampling. I think it's, it's severely undersampled, but um, those are the cameras I had at the time, so I had to make the best of it. Uh, in the imaging train for this, I had a ZWO uh, five position filter wheel with 1.25 inch Optolong filters, and I also had an OAG. Now the OAG, it's primarily there because I also use this imaging rig to use on my Mead 10 inch SCT. So that's why that um, automatically comes over to the Red Cat as well. If we look at the mosaic, um, you can see again I had similar things going on out in the corners here and here. Um, I think this is actually flipped, so that's why um, this, this corner should really, I think, be around here somewhere. But um, again, the centre is fine, but the corners are all, and the sides are all heading out in different directions. So I was getting very similar results with two different cameras, two different imaging trains. So I um, sent those images to uh, William Optics. They looked at them, they came back and said, yep, send it to us for repair. Now, this is what I'm getting now that it's come back. So, um, so we'll just minimise this for a second. And uh, I took this the other night with of the Running Chicken Nebula. This is a three minute um, hydrogen alpha and lots and lots of stars here to look at. Uh, so on the mosaic, um, you can see the stars don't look too bad in all these quadrants now and in the center and here and here, but we have an issue still up in this corner where they're quite elongated. Admittedly, some of the stars here uh, look more like squares because of the sampling, but um, you know, can't do much about that. Um, but they're squares at least and not um, uh, diamonds like we've got here because there's an issue here with it, um, you know, with this elongation of these stars. Otherwise, when you look in these other corners, they look pretty good. Um, this is another image that I did of uh, the fighting dragons of Ara, and this is an uh, oxygen three and a five minute. Um, sub and again lots and lots of stars in this area of the Milky Way and if we just look at the aberration spotter you can see the stars are not too bad yes squarish looking sampling but you know relatively uniform looking 
um, the bigger ones round, but in this corner I've got even the big ones, the elongated diamonds. So uh, I don't know what this is caused by, whether I'm now left with some tilt issues, um, or whether it's a residual from whatever it is they fixed and just couldn't fix this corner. Um, I did try the other night to fix the tilt. Now, my red cat um, didn't come with the tilt adjustment plate that the new ones come out with. Uh, it had the older design with the sort of um, cone-shaped connection at the back which you could insert a filter into. I've subsequently ordered the tilt plate and received it and put it onto the red cat. So these images have all been taken with the tilt plate um, completely closed. I did try making some adjustments in this corner one night and things did slightly improve in this corner but they all went a bit wacky over this side. So at the moment I've tightened everything back up again um, and I've now just got to decide whether I spend a night or several nights chasing a bit of tilt in one corner that may not be tilt or um, whether I accept this as just being um, a problem left over after the repair that they just couldn't deal with and um, I can actually fix this in Photoshop, it's not too much of, a, of an issue. An example, I did this image of the Rosette Nebula after it came back from repair. This has not been uh, particularly trimmed much because, or cropped should I say, because I wanted to keep as much of this uh, nebulosity out here as possible. But um, if we have a look, stars are pretty, pretty good. Uh, over in this corner they're, they're, they're looking quite round. Um, up here, you know, they're not they're not bad. And um, if we just come across down in the bottom corner here, they're quite good. Up here, they were elongated, and I did some um, Photoshop hocus pocus uh, to to try and um, reduce that elongation. And you you can do that um, with a few techniques, um, and it just gives you uh, an acceptable you know image at the end. Uh, so I might just live with this at the moment. Um, interestingly, I did download CCD Inspector to because it's got a few tools to look at your images and see what's going on. And I particularly looked at uh, one that looked like uh, they described as curvature, which I presume is curvature in your optics. Now this is uh, from an image um, with the red cap before it went away, and uh, you can see that there is actually quite a bit of curvature here. Now, uh, since it's come back, uh, this is the image I'm getting now, which is substantially improved. It's not dead flat, but it's substantially improved. Um, and, you know, it may well be that this is, I, I don't know, I've got to look into it, whether this sort of straightness, but heading off at an angle here, is an indication of tilt. It could be, um, as opposed to this, which is pretty even, but just very curved. Um, but certainly, as far as the curvature is concerned, this has shown marked improvement. Um, uh, if we look at, for comparison, uh, an image from my Skywatcher Esprit with its field flattener, you can see it's producing a really nice um, flat field. Uh, so, yeah, a good improvement and, you know, maybe I do have some tilt issues here to, to try and deal with. Um, the other program that you can um, look at, which I've discovered, um, can try and sort out whether you've got tilt or not, and that is ASTAP. And um, let's bring it up here. Now I've got some images that I uh, tested this out on. If I go to an image um, before uh, the red cap was sent for repair, and this is uh, Martyr here again. If you go up to Tools and down to Image Inspection, you get a selection of tools where you can check what's going on with your image, including an aberration inspector where you get the mosaic. But I was looking at this one which is tilt and if I click on tilt you get this square box um, which is sort of checking uh, what's going on in the corners, the HFD in the corners. And what you should really see is a nice um, square, even square, which means you don't have much tilt. But here I've got a trapezium which is sort of sloping off in this direction showing that I do have tilt. And if you look down here, whilst I don't understand all the details about 0.77, what that um, what that means, I do understand this, which is 22% and severe, and severe sounds bad, so I'm, you know, that, that would indicate, um, not necessarily that I had tilt, but my optics were a bit screwy, because this has been corrected, um, sorry, I have to shut that down, has been corrected by whatever William Optics did. 
So if I look at another one here, and this was taken, this is the um, Running Chicken Nebula, which I just took the other night. So this is after the Red Cat came back for a repair. And I do the same thing, tools, image inspection, and I hit tilt. Now I get a nice uh, square here. And it's actually saying that I have a tilt of 4%, which is um, none. And from what I've read, anything under 10% is um, perfectly acceptable. I think it's uh, over, if it's like 6 or 7%, they call it slightly, um, but or slight. But anything below 10, I think, is acceptable. This says none. So this kind of suggests that I actually don't have tilt um, in my system. Uh, but I do still have these funny elongated stars in the corner. And uh, again, you know, if it's not tilt, then maybe it's something wrong with the optics that's uh, remaining after the repair. Comparing to an image that I did with my Skywatch Esprit 120, which has that beautiful flat field, um, it gave me a similar result. A similar result, a nice um, square box and a tilt, um, which was uh, sort of four and six percent, which again was nil. So there's been a vast improvement um, since it came back from uh, William Optics. And I really have one corner that I am still left with problems. Uh, what's causing that, I don't know. Uh, is it tilt? So this suggests it's not. Um, but, you know, or is it just a, a problem I'm going to have to live with with the uh, optics in that corner? You know, I can actually live with that. Um, I can correct that uh, with Photoshop. Um, I could even, you know, if really necessary, crop out a bit more of an image. Um, but at least I don't have to crop out majorly like I used to have to do um, to get rid of all the wonky stars that were taking up a large proportion of my field of view. Right, well if you've uh, made it this far through the video, thanks very much for sticking with it and, um, and watching. You can see I've got the uh, red cap behind there. It seems that whatever the majority of the issues I was having uh, before um, I sent it off for repair seem to have been corrected by William Optics, which suggests to me that those original issues weren't due to tilt, backspacing, anything like that, because um, you know there's a significant improvement using exactly the same setup at the back uh, before and after repair and uh, you know most of the problems I was experiencing have gone away but I would be interested to know in the comments below um, what people think about that one corner where there is elongation of the stars is it tilt um, maybe it is just a, a residual problem that uh, William Optics couldn't correct I, I don't know uh, certainly ASTAT tends to suggest I don't have tilt um, but then in CCD Inspector, and I'm not that familiar with it because I've only just downloaded the trial version, um, it certainly shows that the curvature has been markedly reduced. But I don't know whether that sort of, where, where the um, image plane sort of kicked up in the corner there, whether that is an indication of tilt or not, I don't know. But I'd be interested to, to know from anybody else who is more familiar with um, the sort of aberration inspectors and things in some of these programs. Um, anyway, look, if you've enjoyed the video, um, give it a like, that would be great. Um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. And um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.